my name is Kaylee Deinzer and I'm a graduate student here at LSU. And in today's session, we are going to be talking about hemp as microgreens. Now this project is actually read by Mr. Cheston Shio, another graduate student here. However, he is out of town, so I'm going to be stepping in for him because we've worked a lot together about this project. So I'm very familiar about the ins and outs of microgreens. Now when we use hemp for microgreens, we're using the fiber type seed. This is much cheaper than the seed for essential oils, coming in anywhere from two to three dollars per pound when bought in bulk. A simple germination mix is best for seeding microgreens, and you want to use a low dosage of fertilizer, because if you use too much, it causes the stems to become leggy, which number one, makes it more difficult to harvest, and number two, makes it less marketable to the consumer. Now the two biggest factors you want to follow whenever you're increasing your yields is supplemental lighting and following a low dosage fertilizer regime. So what this means is that you only want to use a quarter of the amount of a typical nutrient solution that you might use for other plants. Microgreens are ready to harvest anywhere from 7 to 12 days after seeding. When they're ready, you want to get a pair of scissors or fine pruning shears and cut the stem along the base of the substrate. Now we have tried to grow these microgreens through hydroponic systems, however we were unsuccessful and would not recommend it. If you use something like a fine felt mat, um, the, seeds, the hemp seeds are too big and they don't stand up right. However, if you go to something bigger like an NFT system, there's too much moisture and the seedlings collapse. Now, although these microgreens are less than two weeks old at the time of harvest, they already have a cannabinoid concentration of 1%. This can be a very useful marketing strategy because right now microgreens are very much trending and so is hemp. So when we put the two together, this can be a very niche market for producers to get into. Hemp, by definition, is the cannabis, the type of plant that has less than 0.3% uh, THC. And so there's a lot of ongoing research on that, and we're uh, focusing on the uh, potential for the use of uh, hemp as a microgreen. Microgreens are small little uh, pre-salad type vegetables. Traditionally, they're uh, grown for uh, less than several weeks. It's, and in fact, it is a commercial product right now in certain restaurants in the Northeast U.S. They're actually uh, incorporating hemp as a, a salad crop, as a microgreen. So we're trying to identify some of the uh, bioactive or nutraceutical compounds uh, that may be of health uh, benefit uh, if uh, one consumes hemp as a microgreen. Uh, so we're doing a lot of laboratory work as far as identification of some of the minerals, some of the macro elements like uh, <clears throat> NPK, protein, some of the micro elements, uh, iron, manganese, copper, uh, and how they relate in terms of concentration in hemp as a microgreen compared to some of our other leafy vegetables or other microgreen crops. Uh, in addition, we're looking at the uh, uh, nutraceutical or bioactive compounds in, in, in hemp consumed as a microgreen, uh, things like phenolic acids, uh, flavonoids, uh, these are uh, known to be uh, antioxidants which protect the uh, body against membrane degeneration. Uh, epidemiological studies indicate they reduce the incidence and severity of certain types of uh, chronic disorders. And in order to uh, delineate that, what uh, natural compounds might be present in hemp as a microgreen. We're looking at, we're look, using a high performance liquid chromatography. It's a standard analytical instrumentation to, method that the product, uh, whether it's a, a plant tissue or animal tissue, is uh, prepared. In this case, the hemp microgreen, it's uh, homogenized and then it's extracted in a certain solvent and then we uh, uh, actually filter the uh, liquid hemp microgreen into small little uh, auto sampler vials and then we uh, uh, inject the uh, small little auto sampler vials uh, uh, onto uh, an HPLC where we get actually a, a profile of the uh, uh, natural bioactive materials present in hemp. Uh, whether they're phenolics or flavonoids. So it's kind of a, a very simple standard analytical methodology where, where we're trying to quantify the important and significant bioactive nutraceutical compounds in hemp. And of course this can then be used as a marketing tool uh, if we find there's some uh, unique positive uh, phenolics or flavonoids or other materials, minerals, uh, that <clears throat> this can be used for producers here in Louisiana and other uh, parts of the country to uh, uh, promote the uh, further uh, consumption of nutritious, uh, delicious hemp as a microgreen. 
how can we prepare hemp, hemp as, a, as a microgreen? Well, straight as a, as a fresh salad crop. Most folks like that. We're seeing a lot more interest in plant-based foods now and, and, and uh, the consumption of leafy vegetables. But one can also uh, mix these uh, and prepare them as smoothies, a straight product, or maybe blended with some other ingredients. Uh, and of course, one can then prepare them, can cook them and boil them like we would spinach or some of our other leafy vegetables, mustard greens as well. So there's multiple uses, not only as a fresh, edible product, but also as a value-added product. So if one is to uh, take a liking to uh, <clears throat> consumption of hemp as a microgreen, the question might be, well, how do I store uh, hemp microgreens to uh, extend the market life and the edible quality of microgreens? Well, uh, they can store for several weeks, but ideally we want to keep these things refrigerated and under a cold chain for you know as long as possible after harvest. So these uh, hemp microgreens have been picked two weeks ago. We stored them between uh, 32 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit, which is what is recommended. And we can put them in plastic bags to keep the humidity high and then to minimize desiccation. But definitely they'll have a couple weeks shelf life uh, under uh, 32 to 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and the nutritional quality is maintained and the flavor and aroma is also maintained. So uh, a couple weeks, uh, good quality edible hemp microgreen.